I know a lot of companies, clients we work with, our own team, which is small, we often struggle with just internal communication, how an insight over here is shared with a person who could benefit from it over here. What have you learned about leading a team that you got OSB, you got Trust Joist, you got Software Lumber, obviously you've got your own distribution team with a ton of talent, a lot of people, you got manufacturing over here. What have you learned about building a team that I'm sure sure there's a sliding scale. There's some cases where you're like, yes, these are just win after win after win of us overcoming some of the challenge of bigness. In other cases, you're like, oh, we should be able to do better. That just comes with the scale. What have you learned about leading teams that communicate well and are open to sharing insights about customers or developments or anything else? Well, I, I'll start. Uh, my mind immediately goes to the negative. What do you what do you need to avoid? What what poisons the well? And comp, internal competition poisons the well. Distrust poisons the well. The us versus them kind of mentality poisons the well. So avoid those at all costs. And so how do we do that? Well, you build relationships. You know, for me, you also move people from from one type of, of, of opportunity to another. Before I took on the accountability for our distribution business, I was vice president of sales and marketing for Warehouser. That was the, the mill side. So it's hard to sit in a meeting and if every now and then, I know this is hard to believe, but there might be a comment or two in a small group that disparages the, uh, you know, another part of the business. Oh, I don't understand why, but well, I used to be there. Let me, let me come at it from another angle because, so I think the biggest piece is, is assume noble intent and, and that folks are, they're doing their best. They want to serve the customer and then let's, let's keep talking. And if we're talking and we understand one another, we're going to, we're going to avoid us versus them. We're going to, we're, we're going to minimize the chance for distrust and we're going to look for common solutions that just make sense for the customer. And then if they make sense for the customer, they ultimately are going to make sense for the, for the company as well. 